I'm alone. My family is in shreds. And I'm never going to even know what my little girl looks like. And if there's a reason for any of it, it's me. What I've done, who I am. Tell you the truth, a shovel, a hole in the ground, a wooden box, or about all that's left. All wrapped up in nice yellow crime scene tape. There's no me left in here. At least not the man you used to know anyway. Maybe you should just accept it and move on. I won't do that. Tad Martin is a good and decent man. Maybe once. But Tad Martin is dead. Let him rest in peace. He's not dead? Yes, he is. He's he was buried with Greg Madden. Let me help you. How? You think you can help me? Save me? Can you cleanse a tainted soul? I'm in hell, Abia. I'm right where I should be every minute of every day. I'm in hell. Where somebody like me belongs, I know, because the voices in my head tell me all about it. Everything I was. Everything I ever had. Or ever will have. Is dead and gone. Because I buried it. I made a choice. I took a chance. And I traded away my soul. That's who I am. Stop, okay? Just... Give us both a break. Just leave me alone, okay? I don't want you to fix me. I don't want you to try to comfort me. And you sure as hell can't forgive me. I'm not the one whose forgiveness you need. Are we going to stand around and talk about God now? Well, God knows what you're going through. God's the only one that can judge and forgive. What do you want me to do? You want me to fall to my knees? Start praying, weeping, confessing my sins? Why shouldn't I? God knows all about it. He was there. He was there when I turned my back on him, so he's turned his back on me. It's over. I'm done. It's not over. You fall down, you get up, you fight, you try, you ask for help, and it comes. Olivia, I stuck a man in the ground. And then I dug him up, and I put him back there all over again. Why would God care about a man like me? Why should he? I know God cares for you. And I know that as long as you're alive, you can pray. And as long as you can pray, there is hope. Christ died so that we are all forgiven. We are all saved. Now you simply have to accept and receive that. Look at me. Look at my eyes. You were right the first time. There's nothing left. That's all there is to it. But you stood by Babe at the gravesite. Uh, yeah, that was... Saying goodbye to Simone and Aaron wasn't about me and Babe. It was about Simone and Aaron. Well, you, you don't seem really angry. I'm sorry, this is uh, not your fault. Um, and I know that you are going through your own hell, but I am really tired of everybody being so sure about how I should react to Babe. My sister, my mother, people on the street who read about it in a tabloid. It was my baby that Babe kept from me, and it was me that she lied to, and how I react to her, how I feel about her. So you don't forgive her? On any given day, I resent her. I hate her. I pity her. I worry for her. I, I miss our friendship. But do I forgive her? No, 
Nobody has a right to keep a parent from her child. There is no excuse for that. There is no rationalization. It's unthinkable and unforgivable. You know, I was clueless. Sadly. Yeah, just unenlightened. Mm -hmm, but willing to learn. Mm -hmm. And now I see what all the fuss is about. Guess later. <laughs> oh, chugga chugga choo choo. Chugga chugga choo choo. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Give me some of that. Give me some of that. You know, magic and romance, and you can. We bought this crazy elaborate plan to bend misguided adults any way you like, yet you seriously suck in school. I'm a creative spirit. Oh, you're a slacker. I just need the appropriate means of expression. <laughs> yeah, who shoveled that load? Mm, guidance counselor, three days I, before I ran away from my mom and stole the cars. <laughs> talking about Jack and me. Good. Let's talk about Christmas. Uh, the Philharmonic is uh, playing Handel's Messiah. Would you like to join me? Oh, I'm just not sure no. what I have to do. I know. I'll get back to you. This, uh, this non-committal you, uh, it's very different. <sighs> do you mind? It's all about what you do. It's a, it's a story about a miraculous baby who brought great joy. How'd you do that? The most wondrous baby ever born. Yay! Unforgivable. For me. I mean, this is all for me. This is my unique experience and what you're going through, what you're feeling, and the decisions that you'll make. I don't want to complicate any of that. It's okay, you didn't. It's all right. Thanks for being honest. Like that gingerbread, Kate. Maybe. And maybe the powdered sugar is all over your face. Come here, let me wipe it off. <laughs> Dad, would you, would you get your daughter to stop wiggling? I want to give you some alone time to think about what it's like to look death dead in the eye.